Imagine you had a physical book or a research paper or any other publication that was printed in a language that you didn't read or you didn't read very well. For example, this book is printed in German and in order to read this, I would have to go and get a dictionary and look up every word or I'd have to try to find an English copy of this book and do a page by page comparison. That could become very tedious. The other option you have is to watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how you could use a Caesar ET24 Pro scanner to scan this entire book, do optical character recognition on it, put it into Word, and then translate it into the language of your choice. It'll also work with other Caesar scanners as well. So on the channel, I have a few other videos about using Caesar scanners. It'll apply to those ones as well. Let's go take a look at how I can take this physical book and turn it from German into an English book. Here I have a book that is written in German. This is a German book, it's a paperback. And what I'm going to do is I want this to be translated into English. Maybe I'm learning how to read German and I need some help with some of the words, so I want to have an English copy next to the book as I'm reading it. Now this is not perfect. It's not going to be the same as having a human translator because it, it will do an OCR and then it'll do translation. It does a pretty good job though, I'll show you. So here I have the book. So I'm going to set it up for facing pages and I'm just gonna, in, in, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna choose some random pages here. Obviously if I wanted to do the entire book, I could do a chapter at a time or, or just scanning the entire book. So I wanna make sure that this is about the center here and I'll press the foot pedal and I'll get my first scan. So here comes my first scan, and I'll do a couple pages here, just to make sure I have them. Grab another couple pages. I'll just do six pages here, as opposed to the entire book, but you'll get the idea. You could do the entire book. Set that aside. So now what I'm going to do is I'll turn to the software here. We'll allow it to finish the processing of those scans and the separation of the pages. So if I double click on a page, you can see that here's the preview of the page. It's a nice clean page. It's all in German though, and I'm still I'm still learning to read German. What can I do? So if I go back here, I'll go back. Here are the pages that I've just scanned. I'll select them all. And then what I can do is I can choose Word with optical character recognition. This will now create a Word document in German though because it'll be German. Now if you don't see German here, I have German here because I've already added it as a language, but you have a whole bunch of different languages that you can add for OCR here. In my case, I already have German installed, so I'll choose German. I'm also going to go with a page size I could modify. I'll just go auto, and then in terms of image processing, I can choose whether I'm gonna do auto adjustment. I'll just keep it auto, auto. Now, here's one thing that's a bit of a gotcha. I can only do Word 97 to 203 with this software, so I'm gonna confirm that I'm going to do that and then I'm going to give this a name and we'll call this uh, Old King Book. That's roughly what, what it translates to. And I'll store that on my desktop because that's where all the people store their files. You'll notice that it's now processing the output. I chose just six pages to keep this demonstration fairly short. <clears throat> Once it takes those pages in, it'll do OCR on all six of those pages. If this was a two, 300 page book, this could take some time. So I would either move it to the background and continue doing some other work or just step away for a while while it processed. Once it's processed, I now have a Word document in German. So now I'll go here and double click it and you'll see that it'll open up Word. Now in Word or in Windows, I also have to have the language pack. So it'll prompt you if you don't have it, if you're using a different language. But if I go into the Word document here, I now have a Word document in German. So you can see here, this is my Word document in German. So if I go through, I can see all of the pages are here and I've got the Word document in German. It prompts me to translate it, but it actually won't work. If I choose to translate it now, it actually won't work. What I need to do is go to the file here and underneath file, I'm gonna do a save as. Let's go file and we'll do save as and I'm going to change the format to a DOCX, so a DOCX format. I'll just save it with the same name, so I'm actually writing over it. Now that I've got it as a DOCX, I can go into my, I believe it's under review, and underneath review, I can go into, let me see here, underneath language, 
underneath language, I can go into translate. Now, what it will do is I'll translate the entire document. It's only six pages. And then it'll ask me, do you want to auto detect the language? Go to English. I could choose German here. So if I go underneath here, I could choose German. And if I did not have German installed, it would prompt me to install the German language pack. I do have German installed. And then I'll go German to English and we'll do a translation. So now it'll go through and it'll translate this document into English. And then if I go in and have a look at the results here, you can see I now have this translated into English. Now, I want to clean up the scans before I do this sometimes because you can see the OCR kind of had some issues on the first page. But here you go. So here's the second page. Got a nice clean scan of that. If you were to read this, it will be a little bit strange. So for example, uh, this says family, but you know, so you can go through and you can, you get a rough idea. Well, more than a rough idea, you can get a pretty good idea of what's being uh, said on the page. But you can see that instead of in German, it's now in a English format. Obviously, as translation gets better with the software, this will improve over time. Still no substitute for a human translator. But one of the things that you can also do with this is if I have, say, research that I'm doing, I can pull research documents that might be in a different language or old books that are in a different language and then get at least a good idea of what those books are saying in, in the language. My preferred language in this case is English. So you can see uh, you can see that you've got this cool little feature here. Okay, so now I'm ready to read my book. I've translated it into Word. It's not going to be perfect. That's the one thing I'm going to say. So if your job is to translate books from German into English or any other language into uh, any other language, don't worry, your job's not at risk. It's going to give you a pretty good translation. As artificial intelligence and translation services improve, it's going to give you a better and better translation. But at this point, it's going to give you a very good understanding of what you're reading and and really help you learn that new language, understand the research article, or get the information from the publication that was written in a different language. If you enjoyed the video, share it with others, hit like, comment down below, all of those good YouTube-y things because that helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.